Geranium is a balancing essential oil. It can be relaxing or stimulating depending on your body needs. As the oil is both a calming and uplifting, it can balance emotions and reduce anxiety and depression. Geranium is also great for all skin type. It's um, anti-inflammatory effect. Um, it can control acne and its rejuvenating effect can help minimize lines and wrinkles. Geranium is also a great hormonal balancer so uh, it can help with um, PMS and relieve uh, menstrual problems. It's also a diuretic so if you're suffering from water retention, puffiness, this is definitely oil that you need to include in your massage blends. The one of the most impressive property of geranium is actually that it can stop bleeding. Essential oils, what are the properties, benefits and uses? Let's have a look. So, what is the chemical profile telling us? It's 63% alcohols, 50%, 15% ester, 7% ketones, and 5% aliphatic aldehydes, and 4% sesquiterpenes. So, just by looking at it, I would say it's a good oil. Being with 63% alcohol, so it means, like I said, it's a stimulating oil. So it's good for skin. It has definitely a nice, pleasant scent, and it's a good antibacterial oil. Um, esters in aromatherapy are gregarious, as calming, uplifting, and balancing. Also, not a good everyday oil for prevention, and it's good for skin and also you know, they generally smell nicely. Now, it has 7% ketones. Ketones are the workhorses in aromatherapy. They're regarding as cooling. So, particularly not to be used every day, but, you know, it's a small amount of 7%. So, we can let go this one through. Like, ketones are, um, are, are generally um, antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, they're like a sedative, wound healing, healing, carminative and mucolytic and lipolytic. So they're quite uh, good essential oils if you need them um, to expel things from your body. What, what are the aldehydes? Aldehydes are generally regarded also as calming, um, also like stimulating and warming. And um, the sesquiterpenes, they are also regarded as balancing and calming. So at one glance, I can say this is a balancing and calming oil. And have a look at it. And the properties is a hormonal balancing oil. It's a good for your diabetes, diarrhea, PMS, hemorrhoids, skin problems of any kind. And most importantly, it stops bleeding. I kid you not. The other day, I actually made an inform in, um, experiment. I put a drone drop on the wound where it was bleeding from a paper cut. You can't believe how much a paper cut can bleed. And it actually stopped the bleeding. You should actually just uh, take that kind of little experiment. It blends very well with lots of essential oils, especially like bergamot and lavender and lemon and neroli, orange, uh, palma rosa, petit grain, rose, sandalwood, elang elang. So you can see it has like a nice pleasant floral kind of scent almost like a rose but the funny thing is like you know the scent is are coming not from the flowers but actually from the leaves and they're like lots of lots of different geranium kind of species but, but the pelargonium graveolens is the one that's actually be uh, that's actually distilled from the leaves so what I like to use it for, so it's a really good, like a female hormone balance, especially when mixed with rose and um, or, or sage or like clary sage as well. So it's also good uh, just even if you have like PMS or problems with, with, with periods. So it's a really good female hormone balancer. And as I said already, like, you know, it stops the bleeding. It just needs, like, one job to apply directly to the wound, and it really actually stops the bleeding. So it's also good oil to relieve cystitis, like, especially if you put it into a bath, and um, also good oil to ease, like, anxiety and depression. So the million question is, do you need a geranium essential oil in your kit? And I would say it's definitely a yes for me because it's a really good all rounding oil with a large chemical profile. And uh, even just for the fact that it stops bleeding, like, it's just absolutely amazing. And you need it actually even in your first aid kit. What is the conclusion? You need this oil.